tonight, we've got the Los Angeles Sparks playing against the Las Vegas Aces. With analysts Brian Vanifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm go. Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you with us. And it's the Aces to start out. And we know the WNBA has some real passionate fans, but guys, which team do you think has the best fan base in the league? That's a good question, Blake. How about the Los Angeles Sparks? Since winning the championship back in 2016, they've been one of the mo league's most watched teams. They also have one of the strongest social media followers. I think my pick has to be the Seattle Storm. Now, let me take you back to 2008, when the city was close to losing women's professional basketball Four eccentric season ticket holders stepped in and bought the team. We all know how much Seattle loves its basketball, but if that story doesn't exude passion, I don't know what will. Now here is McCautry. Pass to Wilson. And here's McCautry. Gray defending. Just five to shoot. McCautry, no good. To the paint, Ogumake. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Standing at 6'2, Ogumake isn't a tree inside, but she is as good of a leaper as you'll see. That really helps her finish. Now here is McCautry. Here's Allen. From 20 feet out, first shot, first basket. She is out of the block fast. Here's Ruffin Pratt. Out to the left wing. Gray, left side. Pass to Williams. The eight footer. We're watching an elite shot blocker go to work. Uh, great timing by Wilson. That's something she seems to have mastered. And here's McBride. Pass to Allen. Right wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Wilson with the bucket. Whoa, she really got the defender on her heels with that one. What a fantastic play, guys. You know, I admire the confidence that Wilson plays basketball with game in and game out. She remains calm and collected every time she's out on the hardwood. Now here is Agumake. To the middle. That's good, and it's Candace Parker with the assist. You know, over the second half of her career, Parker's assist numbers have increased significantly, thanks in large part to her savvy. And talking about Wilson, she isn't afraid to go up against anybody. Yeah, and I think that's part of what makes her a great shot blocker. Never wants to let in any easy buckets. Her defensive presence means so much to this team. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. Gray with it, working on Wilson. And it's Gray missing. Well, you love the tough D, especially inside. And that's exactly what she gives you, Tim. Constantly making her presence felt around the rim. Now here's Swords. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And the basket by McBride. Finishes plays around the basket with various strong finishes. McBride is feared whenever she's on the court. Timeout called the Sparks. And the Sparks, uh, a team that plays with high expectations every year, they're pretty much always in the playoff hunt. And for many marquee teams in LA, it's championship or bust every season.
So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here's Gray. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. With the Sparks, they expect greatness and usually deliver. Well, the team has only missed the playoffs a handful of times ever. Only missed postseason once since 1999. Coaches and players change, but the Sparks are always a factor. And so she draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And guys, one topic that continues to pop up is the emphasis now on cross training. Yoga, Pilates, boxing, I mean, you name it. Are we seeing a major impact in players' performance because of the extra fitness science? Absolutely. We're seeing players who are quicker and stronger. And I think the key to cross-training, it allows players to use Shoot more two. muscle groups. It also increases flexibility, which is so key. And most importantly, I think we are seeing careers being extended. And I'm certainly enjoying watching elite-level performances from players in their mid-30s. So she hits both. And the Aces, they're a team that isn't looking to stretch the floor. They do most of their work in the mid-range and around the rim area. And they'll rarely take more than a handful of threes each game. Here's Gulich. Now Gray lays it up and in off the nice reverse. Using a soft touch and a purposeful offensive approach, Gray's able to finish around the basket in a variety of ways. And for the Aces, when you look at their personnel, the inside approach makes sense. Well, they have good side on this roster and know it works. We're last in the league in 2018 by a large margin in terms of three-pointers attempted. They play at a high pace and just try to get shots closer to the iron. Now here is Sykes. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Yeah, shoot that! Gray, Robinson covering. Costa Nigue. Five on the clock. Gray with it. Fires from deep. Wilson pulls it down. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. I just hope that was a mistake by the D, because if that's how they plan to guard her, they're going to have serious problems. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now here's Gray, guarded by Young. Gray with it. Three-pointer. And no good. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The Aces on top, up by two. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. And off we go. A close game now entering the second quarter. And, uh, guys, what's your take on the Aces so far? A lot of trips to the line for them through the first. Very aggressive offensively. And they're making full use of their home court advantage, I'll tell you that much. Fans have really helped them. Here's Gray. Pass to Gulich. Augustus. Out to the wing. Gray outside. Clock at six. Here's Gulich. Over Robinson. Gulich, good. Yeah, a mindful decision maker. Gray always knows where she is on the court and what's around her. Now here's Robinson. Let's it go from 11. That's a miss. Her second after two shots. Down low. Anigwe. And a great assist by Simone Augustus as that one goes in. 
Well, you watch her play. I think she enjoys the contact. And Igwe is so strong. You have to really nail her to stop her. Pass to Hamby. Outside Robinson. The shot, no good. Now the Sparks take it the other way. Gray outside. Now here is Augustus. And she banks in the layup. I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. That might make the defense even worse, but, but that's 10 of the last 12 points they've allowed from right around the rim. Now here is Hamby. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Outside Young. And there's the defensive three-second call. Well, running the floor is a big part of basketball. Which WNBA player do you guys think are the best in the open court? I got to go with Angel McCautry. Great athleticism and just feels comfortable pushing the rock. What's Can up? play in control despite a fast pace. That's the key, guys. How about Tiffany Hayes? She has such an impressive fluidity to her game and knows how to use her quickness to make the most of open court opportunities. Aces with the ball. It's a three-point game. Here's Robinson. Nice D from Laquana Williams. She's a very strong finisher, guys. I'm surprised that she wasn't able to power that through the defense. Pass to Augustus. To the inside. Rough and Pratt's shot's good. Not much resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. In fact, I'll just say it, they are automatic. Now here's Robinson. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. She didn't luck into that one. She knew just where to be when the shot went up. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Here's Williams. Great D that time from Danielle Robinson. Las Vegas trailing. Floats one up. That one, no good. Some solid defense from Candace Parker. Here's Ruffin Pratt. She's covered by Hamby. Ruffin Pratt, shot's good. Wow. I mean, come on, that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, it's just nowhere to be found. They have to start committing more bodies down low. Pass to McBride. And here is Swords. Now here is McCautry. Rebounded by Parker. And one of the stars of the WNBA on this Las Vegas team is Liz Cambage. She's an Australian star who played in the WNBA initially in 2011 before heading overseas. But since coming back in 2018, the 6'8 center has been nothing short of dominant. Now here's Hamby. And she uses the glass on the layup. For that pick, it worked like a charm. A nice job taking it right to the tin for the layup. Here's Augustus. Pass to Ruffin Pratt. Now here's Williams. Covered by McCautry. Here's Augustus. Just five on the clock. It's hauled in by the Aces. And for Cambage, she owns the record for most points scored in a game. She dropped in 53 in 2018 against the Liberty. In her prime now, she is shaping up to be one of the all-time greats. Just dominant physically. Her ability to use her size and take over a game is second to none. The fans just love her. Few 
players bring their team together like Angel McCautry does. A supportive teammate, she really knows how to get the best out of every member of her squad. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And the first one falls for her. Yeah, guys, I'd say Angel is the veteran leader every team dreams of having. Absolutely. Learning the game from Angel is invaluable experience. She plays a great role model for players uh, just entering the league. And so she makes both from the line. With multiple all-defensive first-team selections, McCautry solidified herself as one of the league's best defenders. Here's Ruffin Pratt. Pass to Ogumake. Neko Ogumake double-teamed. Here's Ruffin Pratt. She's covered by Hamby. Here's Ruffin Pratt. Over Hamby. But a shot by Ruffin Pratt. No good. And the basket by Hamby. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Outside, Parker. Here's Ruffin Pratt. Outside, Williams. Inside. Oh, Gumake, that's good. They're picking it up offensively here in the second. And they've lifted their field goal percentage into the high 50s. They're rolling. Shot clock and game clock, one second differential. Here's Allen. Good if it goes. With great leaping ability plus length, Parker is a tremendous defensive player. One of the best we've ever seen. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going on here. Sparks ahead. They're up by three. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And now, the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. One player who's been getting it done, Neka Ogumake. What I noticed more than anything about her first half offense is she didn't waste her opportunity. She made just about every good look she had. And they were pretty much all good looks. I mean, her shot selection has been phenomenal throughout the game. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half to get underway. Hey, eyes up, watch her. Don't give it, Pass don't to it. Parker. Yo, look this way. Out, out, out. And that.
that one good. Come on. You, you think a little contact is going to stop Candace Parker? No way. Too strong. Too much desire. Well, you look at the advanced stats, and of course we love doing that, and then the Sparks stand out in one major way. They try to slow the, the game down as much as possible. Have been last in the league or near the bottom in pace for several seasons now. Ball going up court. Knocked loose. And stolen by Angel McCautry. From 13. Allen's shot is off. Not sure what the D was doing there. She's not the player to give open looks to, but they got away with it that time. And with the Sparks in their new pace, it makes sense when you look at their personnel. Well, when you have Parker and Agumake, it's the right play. I mean, those two on the blocks are an absolute force. And the Sparks, they go for efficiency in their possessions, and they try to prevent the game from turning into a track team. We're always taking a chance on those long passes. They're lucky the D couldn't come up with it. It's Brittany Sykes on the wing, covered by McCautry. Here's Williams. Yes! Great play by Chelsea Gray to set it up. That is some dime-dropping, exquisite assist. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Allen. McBride. Gray defending. Six to shoot. Here's McCautry. And another miss by Las Vegas. It's been a cold spell for them coming out of the half, Kick. missing their first three shots. Off her foot. And they're saying she kicked the ball. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Here's Sykes. Doesn't get it to drop for her. Good D by Angel McCautry. To the paint. Well-timed pass, and it goes straight to the bucket for the layup. They get one to drop. One of four here in the third. The Sparks with the lead. And you think of intense competitors? Kayla's got to be one of the first mentioned. So much passion for the game. She's one of the league's hardest workers. Now here is Sykes. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Outside, Young. Pass to McCautry. Down right now in the game, you can look at her performance as a direct indicator of why they are losing. And thinking of Kayla McBride, her will to win translates well to the offensive end. Yeah, there's not a defender in this league that she's afraid to go up against. And Kayla just likes to keep defenders guessing as she can score in a variety of ways. Thinking of the best offensive players in the league, McCautry has to come to mind. She led the WNBA in scoring in back-to-back -back seasons. And on top of Angel's scoring ability, her effort on the glass has always impressed me. Me too, Blake. She's never lacking energy or enthusiasm when rebounding the rock. And rebounding is an effort game, and Angel understands that. The first one falls. Okay, let's take a look here tonight at Asia Wilson. Now, she was the first overall pick for the Aces back in 2018. And, you know, she was actually the first pick ever for this franchise's iteration in Las Vegas. That one is no good. And for Wilson, the 2018 Rookie of the Year, she is clearly the future of this team. And you know, Blake, she's not the tallest center in the league. Wilson's only 6'4", but she is as smooth as it gets the post on both ends of the floor. Great footwork and a fantastic sense of the game.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Well, one thing that really stood out to me from watching Anigwe in college was her offensive rebounding. Can we discuss the night she put up 30 points and 32 rebounds? I mean, who does that? Both good at the line. And we see Inigwe collect offensive rebounds, Tim. But what exactly does that do for a team? It's really simple. It's extra possessions. And they're always big in the WNBA. The more shots you can get up as a team, the better chance you have to outscore your opponent and win the game. Inigwe's work on the offensive glass was so impressive in college. It's only a matter of time before she fully brings that to the WNBA scene. Now here's Gray. Pass to Sykes. Now Augustus, Rogers defending. Five to shoot, and it falls all over the rim and in. That's been a go-to shot for them today, fellas. Yeah, they found that sweet spot between the paint and the three-point line, and they are knocking them down. Now here is McBride, pass to Rogers. Young, Gray defending the glass to finish the layup. You sit back and enjoy the poise from Young. Maybe not the highest percentage shot with the contact, but she still sinks it. Gray outside. The shot, no good. And Las Vegas the other way now. Outside Young. The floater. That shot off the mark. Sykes outside to the inside. Anigwe's shot's good. Well, she's got an array of post moves, 6 4 height, soft touch. Anigwe has all the tools to be a great inside scorer for years to come. On the wing, Kayla McBride. Double team on Asia Wilson. Rejected by Simone Augustus. Fast break, here come the Sparks. Sykes, no good. Just not the quarter she would like to have when you talk about shooting the ball, but hopefully she can turn it around. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Misses in close. Hasta Nigue. Gray. Guarded by Young. And here is Gray. From way back! Oh, no good trying to beat the buzzer. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Sparks ahead. They lead by eight. And we'll be back with you shortly. And while we have the chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. What a terrific, unselfish play. Could have tried to take it herself, but chose to set up her teammate. And what a setup it was. Yeah, and as a two guard, she's typically not a reluctant shooter. So it was really nice to see her orchestrating for her teammates instead. Welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. Las Vegas trailing. Pass to McBride. Now here is Hamby. Bulich with the rebound. Just a slight advantage for them in the rebound department. Yeah, especially when you're scoring the ball at, at even a decent clip. They've done what's necessary to take the lead. Now here is Augustus. Here's Ruffin Pratt. Robinson covering. Outside, Parker. Shot clock at five. Took the opportunity when she saw it. 
She might not be the top sharpshooter in this league, but that's not a shot that D can afford to give to her. Pass to Hamby. Nick Ride. And the call is going to be yep, an illegal screen. You have to make sure your feet are set. But when you set those screens, they'll get you for it. I thought maybe she was set. Now, I know that's a difficult call to make, but I think maybe they got that one wrong. Yo, 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 watch this, watch this. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about one minute into it. Here's Ruffin Pratt, covered by McCautry. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Well, the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs there. Something you struggled with in your career, Tim, but definitely saved the layup with that foul. She's going to have to earn him at the line. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Neka Gumake, the 2018 MVP, she gives you so much on the floor. A really strong finisher with the ball in her hands and very clever in how she gets a, the shot off inside. And she makes both free throws. And with Agumake, her efficiency is what stands out. You know, arguably the most efficient scorer in the league has always kept a very high field goal percentage, even with increased volume. And she's just as consistent a power you can ask for. Now here is McCautry over Ogumake. And too long on the shot. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that one. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. Here's Ruffin Pratt. Outside Williams. And the layup's good off the glass. They're not rotating quickly enough on defense down low. They've got to provide more resistance inside. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Here's McCautry. No good. Unable to end this run. And the Sparks with possession here. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Here's Ruffin Pratt. Pass to Ogumake. Over Hamby. Ogumake misses. That's one she knows she should have drained. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Time yeah, cold out, stretch out. offensively. They need a bucket. Not much the D can do once she gets to the bucket. The Sparks call timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. the sparks with it. Pass to Ruffin Pratt. Parker. Outside Williams. Now Gumake. Offensive rebound. It's stolen by Neko Gumake. That shot off. Good D by Angel McCautry. Here's Hamby. 
It's good, and she drew the contact on the shot, so she'll go to the line. Three-point play opportunity. Well, fortune can definitely be found in Las Vegas, and if you're asking why, well, just listen to this. The Aces have won the WNBA Draft Lottery three straight times now after drafting first overall in 2017, 2018, and 2019. And that bit of luck for the Aces has given them a solid foundation. Well, anytime you get to draft the top player in a draft class, things are looking up. To do it three times in a row, I mean, that's almost unheard of. The Aces have made the most of their selection because those picks are the core of this Las Vegas roster. Now here is Augustus. Back to Parker. Rough and Pratt. He's covered by Hamby. From the elbow. Allen with the rebound. Back to Robinson. McCautry. Fires from 18. Rebound by the Sparks. Those have been some, some terrible shot choices, Blake. Uh, that was not good at all. Parker, good. Well, that's why fans love to watch Parker play. She's creative and routinely makes tough shots. Now here is McCautry. Pass to Robinson. And she drops in the layup off glass. Well, that pick, it worked like a charm. A nice job taking it right to the tin for the layup. Now Parker. Soft touch off the glass. Timeout, timeout. Well, a developing guard-like skills at a young age really helped Parker, and she's put them to good use during her basketball career. And the Aces call time here. And Candace Parker, uh, undoubtedly one of the dominant bigs in the WNBA, and at 6'4", she has great footwork on the block and when going at the rim, and there's just no way to slow her down. And, she has been a force in this league for years. Parker. Sure. I mean, who else are you going to give it to? The bucket's been a tractor beam for her shots all night, regardless of where she's shooting from or what's standing in front of her. And as the star of the team, she knew she was going to have a target on her back tonight. But look, that didn't bother her at all. In fact, it, it kind of motivated her. Now here is McCautry. And as the shot, shot clock violation. expires, 24 second violation. And the Sparks with possession here. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. Pass to Gray. Ogumake to the left wing. It's Candace Parker penetrating. Out to Agumake. And here is Gray. Six on the shot clock. Right side, Williams. The three pointer off the mark. McBride. Gray defending. And it's in. 
This run really not doing them any good, coming as late as it has. Yeah, but give them credit for showing the fight they're showing, Tim. It would have been real easy to just throw in the towel by now. Yeah, but it's still going to be a loss, probably. Now here's Gray over McBride. And it's Gray missing. Impossible for them to come back now. Yeah, just too much work and not enough time. For three, Kayla McBride. Rebound by the Sparks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Parker with the ball. And so it's the Sparks taking care of business in this one. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time this one wound down. That's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them a chance to lift their team up at the finish. And that's a wrap, everyone.